Hi, I'm Suzanne McNeil, and you know the holidays are right now upon us, so better late than never, but I wanted to show you the ornaments I've been making this year. Actually, I bought them last year, but I'm just now getting around to actually making them. So these are beautiful little ornaments, and uh, I'm just doing this entangle on them. My grandchildren actually came over this weekend and did some, and they all used color markers. I, I'd show them to you, but they all wanted to take them home and put them on their tree. So let me show you how simple this is. Here I have a little, it's, a, it's like a little ceramic ornament, and my pen will work just perfect on it. You know, you might find a paper mache ornament or a wood ornament, and um, a Micron actually makes another pen called a Microperm, and it'll actually draw on glass. So just like regulars entangle, I'm just going to start and divide it into a few sections or strings. I especially like the uh, Christmas stocking because I can personalize that with someone's name. I have a sister named Amy who lives in Santa Fe, so wouldn't this be fun for her to receive in the mail right before Christmas? I'm going to send it to her this afternoon as soon as I finish it, as a matter of fact. So now in each section, I'm going to do a different tangle. Here's one I really like. This one's kind of fun. This is Rick's Paradox. And I'm just drawing a line around each time I start next to the line, but I go in just a little bit. And that creates that magical little box. Let me draw another one for you. Start at the line, move out, move out, move out, move out, move out. And just keep repeating that, and it forms that wonderful little curl in the middle every time. And here I have a really big space, so this time I'm going to do the same paradox tangle. You know, Zentangle was developed by Rick Roberts and Maria Thomas. They live up in Massachusetts, and they teach wonderful classes for certified designers, and they have kits. They're all on their Zentangle site, Zentangle.com. And I was lucky enough to get to go up to one of their certification classes. Not only did I meet wonderful people, but I learned all about the birth of Zentangle and how it's developed in the last few years. Isn't that a pretty design there? So down here, I'm just going to do a simple one. So the best thing about Zentangle is it's actually suitable for all ages. Children can do this as well as it, well, you can see it can create beautiful art before you're finished. So my Micron pen works on almost everything, especially paper pieces. But if I want to work on glass or ceramics, then I can use the Microperm pen. It's even dishwasher safe on glass. This is a wave. It's a pattern that I particularly like. I've developed over 200 patterns for Zentangle. Each one of them is separate. Every night, it's like my little reward. I get to sit down in front of the television on my sofa, prop my feet up at night, and just draw little tangles. I try to learn to develop a new one every day as well as creating some really nice, valuable to me at least, pieces of art. What a perfect little gift for a birthday or Christmas. There's so many mass-produced things now, it's just really nice to receive something that's made by hand. I'm going to do my little spider web. This is really a simple one that goes quite fast. And sometimes you might ask where I get my patterns. Well, I look everywhere, take photos of everything, and then I publish those in books. So a lot of people like to collect my books so they can learn a different tangle every day. By the end of the year, they have 395 tangles. 
or is it 65? There's my little frame. Now I could go back and add a few little embellishments or I, I might just take a red pen a little bit later and color that in red. Isn't that fun? Now I do like to seal especially these little uh, ceramic ornaments. You know these are only about 50 cents to a dollar at the store. They're really a bargain. So if I have something that's paper mache I might want to spray it white before I start. I like to use the workable fix if I'm going to do something and especially the clear spray when I'm finished and that'll really give this a good sealing on the top. So I'm using these little ceramic ornaments but sometimes you can find little wood pieces, find little things you can spray white, make little paper mache ornaments, inexpensive. And here are just a few of the books. So let me show you what's inside each book. Gives your basics. Look at all these tangles. Every one of them is a nice pattern to do. And some of them are like magic. Like if you just look at this pattern right here, you might go, oh dear, where do I start? But with the step outs inside each book, you can see how simple it is. Or up here, it's showing some variations of the same pattern. And then in the back, I always give some ideas of things to make, and a directory. This is what I keep open at home when I'm working. So, hope you enjoy all these ornaments. They're so much fun to make.